Dr. Holder. I'm the medical director of the epilepsy surgery program here at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh of UPMC. Um, over a million Americans have epilepsy, including children, and many of these children don't respond to medications. If medications aren't successful in controlling a child's seizures, surgery may be another option. Um, here at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh, we have a new state-of-the-art facility that enables us to provide the most technologically advanced services to help determine if these kids are candidates for a surgical resection. So our goal in treating epilepsy is to be seizure-free and have no side effects. Many patients can achieve that with medications, but about 30% can't. And that 30%, once they've failed two medications, there's only a 10% chance a third medication will work. So we really need to get these children to something like surgery treatment sooner instead of letting them have seizures for such a long period of time. If you can improve the seizures early, you can improve the child's quality of life. They're going to do better in school, they're going to learn, they're going to think better, and they're going to be able to achieve more once they get to adulthood because they haven't spent their childhood living with daily seizures. Um, our goal here at Children's Hospital is to not only improve seizures, but also improve quality of life. Living with seizures is very difficult for children. They don't know when the seizure is going to occur, they don't know where they're going to be when it happens, and they miss out on a lot of normal childhood activities. Things as simple as participating in after-school sports or going to a sleepover are often restricted if a child has epilepsy. If we can control the seizures or get rid of them completely with surgery, the child can go back to living a regular life like any other child. Here at Children's, we have expertise in pediatric care. All of our specialists are pediatric specialists. From our neurologists to epilepsy specialists to neurosurgeons, neuroradiologists, even the nurses who take care of the children on the floors are pediatric specialists. Our EEG technologists are also specially trained in pediatrics. Everybody working here at Children specializes in treating children. Kids aren't just small adults, and adult doctors are not appropriately trained to take care of children. They have different types of epilepsy, and they need to be treated in special ways. And you really have to go to a facility where there's experts in pediatrics to get the level of care that you need. Here at Children's, we want the whole family to be involved in taking care of the child. Our new epilepsy center has eight rooms, and each room has the ability for two parents to stay with the children so the parents can be with them throughout the entire stay. Everything that we do with the child, the parents accompany them and are part of it. And we like to involve them in all the decision making. They're even involved in our daily rounds and are part of every decision made in the child's care. We also have the ability to use our child life experts who can bring video games and toys and arts and crafts to the rooms. Most of the children have to stay in their room during their entire stay and to keep them occupied and busy, our child life experts work with them to keep them entertained. We also have musical therapists who bring guitars and pianos to the room and help the kids learn music and sing. And we have a pet therapy program. It's not uncommon to see a dog or two roaming the floors keeping the children happy and entertained throughout the day. Mm -hmm.